The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office releasing new information and video from the officer involved shooting in Guadalupe last week. The suspect, they say, had a long criminal history and had stolen the gun he used while firing at officers. Fox 10's Irene Snyder is live tonight with more. Irene. Well, good evening. Some footage that they released today was actually very graphic, showing the moment when deputies shot and killed this man. Now, we're not going to show you that part of the footage, but the sheriff that we spoke with earlier today tells us that deadly force is by no means their first option. It's what they do when they have no other option. Put the gun down now! The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office releasing body cam and drone footage from a Guadalupe officer involved shooting. When a man, later identified as Ronaldo Albo Rojas, opened fire in a neighborhood off Priest Drive and Guadalupe Road, right around the corner from Frank Elementary School. Deputies first called to the area around 1.30 on May 18th. Callers reported seeing a man with a handgun acting erratically. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone says deputies tried to speak with him. They used a drone to get better idea of what Rojas was doing, and he fired multiple times at the drone, then fired at police. <laughs> Shots fired, shots fired. Point in time, he fires what is probably in excess of 10 or 12 rounds. He is unresponsive to their directives, and he continues to walk. And the direction that he's headed is basically, uh, I would say, um, southbound towards the school and the community there. Here you can see drone footage of Rojas appearing to reload his gun when a deputy fired back, killing him. We do not choose deadly force as an option. Deadly force is the lack of an option where the behavior of the suspect is such a threat to the community that no other options available are going to mitigate or stop that threat from occurring. And thankfully, no deputies were hurt that day, and we're told by the sheriff that the gun that Rojas used that day, he actually stole the day before the shooting from a Phoenix police officer's car. Reporting live, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.